Hello, my name is Matthew, and uh, I'd like to tell you about uh, a little, a slim little book that I just finished by one of my very favorite uh, writers. It's Guy de Maupassant, and I read A Float. I thought I would stick with my uh, Mariner-themed books that I've been reading recently. The reason I picked it up was because uh, Guy Maupassant was actually mentioned in The Seagull, played by Anton Chekhov, and I, I thought I would pick it up. And this is a travel log, uh, purported to be uh, his his notes that he took while he took a break uh, sailing around the French Mediterranean and his yacht, uh, the name of his yacht was Bellamy, named after, he named it after his uh, quite successful uh, novel of the same name, Bellamy. And it was uh, Montpassant uh, in search of solitude. He, he wanted to go out and be alone. It was gonna be uh, just, him out in the open sea. He had two sailors manning the ship that he interacts with, but most of the book, most of the entries is just him describing the sea, and the sky, and the silence and ruminating about society and the friends that he's left uh, ashore and thinking about his life and ev everything about it uh, just <clears throat> grabs me. Uh, I, I, I could read a uh, hundred pages of him describing the sea. He, he, he can be mesmerizingly uh, beautiful and I, I never feel bogged down uh, with kind of maybe mushy or romantic uh, descriptive writing that um, uh, to talking about landscapes can lend itself to um, and, and instead he, he has such a way of relating the world around him to his interior life. And he's also quite a misanthrope, which I just love. A brutally negative, cynical, mean-spirited, dark thoughts that I feel like every healthy person has and he can balance that with these gl glimmers of optimism and underlying truths that um, people can be good so it, 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 this isn't just hammering on about how everyone's terrible and that's it. Um, so it's be beautiful, th philosophical, personal. Um, I, as a quick aside, I picked this up and I found a train ticket. The last time I read this was nine years ago when I was going to New York to visit a friend. And it was actually quite sad because I haven't seen that friend in 10 years, and I still have the book, anyway. Um, <clears throat> to give you an idea of um, the dark, cynical thoughts that Maupassant can have, and the, the, the way that e even, even while he's being misanthropic, he has just such a way of exercising the words into something 
special to me. Uh, it's true that sometimes I feel such a horror of living that I long to die. So in intensely do I suffer from the relentless monotony of every landscape, of people's faces and their thoughts. I find the mediocrity of the universe appalling, revolting. I'm disgusted by the paltriness of everything, overwhelmed by the utter worthlessness of the human race. And at other times, I take a delight in everything, like an animal. I'm restless, tormented, hyperactive. Mind soars full of hope towards things that are beyond our grasp, and having realized the futility of its efforts falls back into utter contempt of everything. My body hurls itself like an animal into the intoxicating pleasures that life has to offer. I love the sky like a bird, forests like a prowling wolf. Um, I don't feel uplifted. I just love it like a brute beast. It's a deep, despicable, holy love for everything that lives and grows, everything you can see, for it all brings peace to my mind while distracting my eyes and my heart. Yes, everything, days, nights, rivers, seas, storms, forests, the dawn, the sight of women in their flesh. And you can see the swings of real emotion that can be r relatable. Um, how you can just be angry at humanity in general and not really mean it, and that that's still very honest. Um, I, I marked a couple other pages. Let me see. I've lusted after everything and enjoyed nothing. I would have needed the vitality of the whole race of men. The intelligence scattered among all living creatures. Every conceivable, every conceivable faculty of mind and body, in addition to a thousand more lives in reserve, because I have inside me every sort of appetite and curiosity, and I've been reduced to observing everything and grasping nothing. And I'll read one last. It talks about how ugly everybody is. God, aren't people ugly? Surrounded by all those who'd come to enjoy the show, I realized for the hundredth time uh, that among all the species, the human race is the most frightful of all. The air was thick with the smell of people, a stale, sickly smell of unwashed flesh, of greasy hair and garlic, that horrible, stinking garlic which people in the South emit through their mouths, nose, and every pore of their skin, just as roses spread their scent. It's true that men are always equally ugly and smelly. But men, but man really is frightful to collect a gallery of freaks that would make a cat laugh. <clears throat> I'll stop reading excerpts, but uh, so sometimes he, that extreme language can also be very funny to me. Um, but th the idea of this book is that it's a man bobbing alone in a boat with his thoughts. Um, and that really sticks with me. Um, and all of the different things that he can think about um, that just ring true to me. And actually, oh, uh, actually, I won't read anymore. Um, but I, I just, I just love it. Um, I, I could read them for days. And I, I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but um, one, one of my um, n new favorite uh, YouTube channels, um, it's in, uh, the name of the channel is Rambling Rock on Tour. Uh, he just, uh, like a day or so ago, did a video about Mapasan as well. And I'll leave a link to his channel. Uh, so if, if you're interested um, in hearing more about Mapasan, it's a, it's a, 
um, a great cha great channel um, to su subscribe to and watch, and um, and it's it's a great video on um, more of a discussion on Mop Um Anyway, I feel like this video is just me reading excerpts, but um, I, I I could just I could read these short stories to you and passages of his. Um, so Guy de Maupassant, I read a float, it's a travelogue, uh, and I loved it. I always will. Uh, thank you for watching, and um, leave a comment if you would like. Uh, let me know if you've read Maupassant, uh, and thank you.